Hey guys, Spina Dude here, and welcome back to another video. And I hope my birds are not too loud outside my door right now. But I was just thinking, I I haven't done a collection video like ever on my channel, I don't think. And I got a message from Bionicle Saurus actually this morning on Facebook, and he was like, "Hey, I've seen in live streams and everything. I've seen your shelves and stuff, and I would really like a closer look at them." And I was like, why is this not a thing on my channel? So thank you Bionicle Source for bringing me to my senses and finally making me do this. Uh, so I figured I'd start out here. This is at my desk. It's a little dusty, I know, but this is right underneath my main monitor. Uh, I have my second monitor over here. I've had a two monitor set up, but I just have my two Jurassic Park Funko Pops with the Dilophosaurus and Dr. Ian Malcolm. Then I've got Clayton, or uh, the Kayakosaurus's little um, Parasaurolophus and Nato, the little Spinosaurus from PNSO there to inspire me while I work and edit videos. And then I've got my Peabody Museum of Natural History mug. So this is where I edit, this is where I do my videos and everything. The rest of my desk is a little messy, so I'm gonna leave that to your imagination right now because <laughs> it's. It's not clean, but anyway, why don't we go ahead and move on to the actual shelves and take a look there. All right, so starting off with my Jurassic Park slash world shelf and miscellaneous towards the right there, we have my Mattel figures from Jurassic World, as you can see, starting with the Baryonyx. You can also see right there, I did manage to get the mini Spinosaurus. I'm gonna have a video with that coming out soon on the channel and I have the mini repainted Baryonyx there and I just bumped my Indoraptor by accident and my Dimorphodon is starting to fall over but that's okay. Anyway I got that cool mug when I went to, uh, not mug, just cup when I went to see Fallen Kingdom on opening night in the theater which was awesome or it was opening day but opening night of opening day on June 12th. Uh, I got a couple Pez dispensers I picked up back there. Stuff that just isn't, you know, good enough for an entire video. I have some more figures up here. There's my Indominus Rex I repainted. Uh, Stiggy in blue. There's the three tickets from me and my family. We went to see it together. So I saved those. Uh, Carnotaurus repaints. I actually haven't shown that yet. And the Mosasaurus. Same with my Hararosaurus there. There's a showcase video on that coming out soon so you can see that close up. So I'm just going to skip over those. I don't want to spoil them too much. Over here I have my three favorite repainted models that I've done personally. There's the uh, pre-collection Dunkleosteus and the pre-collection Prionosuchus as well as my personal favorite I've done right in the center is the Clit... I keep saying Clayton, I know. <laughs> that's his Kayakosaurus's real first name. Uh, but anyway, that's Kayakosaurus's Protocast's Taurosaurus, and uh, I named it Monarch, of course, if you saw the showcase video. And back there I've got uh, Entertainment Weekly's Ultimate Guide to Jurassic Park, which I thought I might do a video on, so I'm not going to show too much of it there. You can see the cover. Uh, I did read through the whole thing. It's pretty interesting. There are a couple things that um, were a little bit rushed in there, which I'm, I'll show in the review if I end up doing that. But yeah, there's my Jurassic Park slash World Shelf right now with... Uh, a couple miscellaneous painted figures on the side. And let's move over to my actual main figure shelf that everybody sees on my live streams and stuff through my webcam. And on the way over there, here is my Jurassic Park 25th anniversary um, 2018 calendar, which is pretty cool. I don't think I've shown this on any videos, but yeah, I got some pretty cool pictures in there. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Moving to on to the shelves. Alright, so starting at the top, as you can see, I've got my Papo figures on the top. I really like Papo. Uh, they were where I started, that's where I started with my collection. Um, so we've got the Apatosaurus over here on the side and everything. Dimorphodon I still haven't reviewed. I've got to do that coming up. You can see all of the figures here. Uh, there's the 2018 uh, Spinosaurus Juvenile that was gifted to me by um, Mr. Carno, his name is, I believe. No, if I'm remembering correctly, I'm so sorry. Your name was Vitaly21, it's my, my friend Vitaly21 who sent that to me. That's coming up for review soon as well. And uh, just some other figures, it's bracketed on the end by the Allosaurus and the Baryonyx as you can see. And of course in the back, there's the Spinosaurus that I adore so much. And the first ever figure I actually started collecting with was the green standing Papa T-Rex, as you can see right there. All right, so let's move on to the second shelf, which is probably my favorite. It's uh, my personal favorite 
company, which is Safari LTD, as you can see here. Uh, I'm really happy with the way the shelf looks. I do have shelf risers on this one, as you can see, they are transparent, clear plastic. And I do have my cassowary in the middle there. Uh, I thought that would be nice to put next to the Anzu, just because they look so similar. It's like an almost uncanny resemblance uh, between the animals. But uh, here you can see the 2019 Carnotaurus, and moving over, you can see the... Um, actually, there's the old Scutosaurus from 2008 I actually picked up at a store. I'm going to be doing a video on that because there's a story behind that and another figure on the shelf below this that you'll see in just a moment. But yeah, that's my Safari LTD shelf, the Amargosaurus there. At the top, I like putting some of the larger figures at the top, smaller ones in the front. Brings more attention to all of them. And you can see some figures that still have yet to come up for review. Uh, that being the Demetrodon, of course. And which other ones do we have? We have the Demetrodon and the Triceratops. That's right, there's the Triceratops over there. So those are coming up soon. Anyway, moving on down to the final shelf at the bottom here. If my camera will focus, there we go. So I have my mammals from Safari LTD on the right side of the shelf over here. You can see we have the Hyenodon from Safari. Um, that's one that's coming up for review. And there's the brand new 2019 Woolly Rhino which actually might be my favorite, but I'm saving my thoughts on that for the actual review. Carnegie Chronolophosaurus, I got that at the other um, shop and you can see something different about the feet there. Uh, I'm definitely going to be telling you a story about that one coming up in a separate video. Carnegie Spinosaurus, adore this figure, got this from my good friend KikiZilla101. I've, uh, I've got to review this one coming up on the channel very soon. So yeah, and there's two Carnegie figures from uh, uh, Kayakosaurus. I couldn't think of his name for some reason there. Anyway, moving on. Schleich, I've just got some a few Schleich figures, not too many, just some of my favorites. And the Tawa, because I have plans for the Tawa for something. Uh, that's the reason I got it. And uh, the Dunkelosteus, which is my favorite Schleich figure. And then you can see in the middle there, that's a newcomer, and that is not a Schleich figure, that's a Schleich knockoff that I found interesting. I bought online, uh, I have a reason for why I bought that, but I'm keeping that kind of hush-hush, some of you might be able to guess. And then finally over on the left we have Collect Day figures over here. You can see the Swimming Spinosaurus. Uh, ones I have yet to review from Collect Day, I have the Ichthyo Venator, I have the Dolly Karin Cops, and I've got the Ineosaurus there from the Easter Special. So those should be coming up for review in the coming months, but I've got some other stuff I've got to put out on the channel as well. But anyway guys, there we go. There are my shelves that I have set up. And of course I do cycle through figures. I've got some that are put away in storage. I've got some on my nightstand. I'm not gonna show you my nightstand right now. Uh, the Vite Giganotosaurus is over there for example, because that's just a really nice piece. But yeah, there are my shelves and everything. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I will hopefully maybe do this more in the future as I update my shelves and show you guys my collection more. I'm hoping to get more of these clear shelf risers for up here, especially with the Papos, because they're all pushed towards the front on the shelf. Uh, as you, you might be able to see, there's some space back there where figures can definitely fit. So I'd like to get some shelf risers so I can have more room up there, especially with some of the new 2018 ones coming out, which I haven't gotten yet. But anyway, uh, that's my video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed as always. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. So take care and bye bye <laughs>